Hey YouTube, this is Rishika. So yeah, this would be my 20th video tutorial on I mean 20th video tutorial on data stage. So in my previous uh, three tutorials, previous like just the previous uh, tutorials, I explained about join, merge, and lookup stages. So yeah, I explained in detail every property and all that. And now in this video. I gonna explain the key points and the key differences in interview point of uh, inter in interview point the like the differences between join merge and lookup stages in the interview uh, view in the interview point of view okay so yep here we go so join it can handle large volumes of data and even merge can handle large volumes of data okay so the basically the join merge and lookup if you have seen my earlier videos you'd have probably known by then then uh, then that these three stages are just performing the join operations that's it okay join operations are being performed by these three stages on different tables okay so yeah join and merge stages can handle large volumes of data because the incoming uh, incoming data is i said for the join and merge stages the input data must be partitioned and sorted right so because the input data is already partitioned and sorted it it gonna have like little memory use so that's a uh, little memory use so obviously when there is like less memory usage we can have handle load large volumes of data right so yeah but when it comes to lookup it can handle only less volume of data this is this is important because uh, this is this is on a sorry this is an another interview question they say okay you say that lookup is only used for less volume of data so sometimes people may ask why so the reason is lookup stage basically it uses its own cache memory so this but uh, but the thing is the cache memory is very limited so if you want to handle or if you want to process large volumes of data on by this lookup stage uh, so the memory is because it the cache memory is limited right so when you're trying to read large volumes of data the memory is overflowing and the memory is overflow and this and to accommodate all the large volume of data this lookup stage tries uh, tries to have look uh, tries to create its own scratch uh, I mean it, its own additional disk files so in that process when uh, additional disk files are created I mean, it's gonna create additional disk files because it is trying to it it is trying this lookup stage is trying to have lookup on each record of that huge volume of data. So yeah, in the process of that, additional disk files are created, and in order to uh, I mean, if obviously if number of additional disk files are created uh, while performing lookup, this stage checks are I mean checks or perform lookup operations on each additionally created disk file, right? So first of all, it doesn't have enough memory. It has only limited memory. And second thing is, uh, second thing is, because we are trying to reach more, uh, because we are trying to read out of the, uh, I mean, more memory, more. Uh, we are trying to read more data than it is expected. The memory is overflown. Next is, even though the memory is overflown, the stage still tries to read uh, the all all the uh, all the huge data. And in that process, it's gonna create additional disk files. Okay. And the next thing is, when additional disk files are created, this lookup uh, stage, what it does is, it tries to uh, look up or perform like check, uh, perform check operations or lookup operations on these additionally created disk files. So yeah. So if if say uh, if say there are like three. Uh, okay. So let's say we have only a uh, cache memory. We have only like let's say 10 MB. And uh, for each additional disk file, it's creating let's say like just just minimal amount. So let's say 20 MB. So basically, it looks for only 10 MB. But because we are making it very huge volume, it gonna additionally check upon each 20 MB. And let's say we have like five different additional disk files. So yeah, it needs to look up on those five different additional files with 20 MB of data, right? So that's pretty huge for lookup. And for that reason, the performance issues occur. So whenever uh, there is like huge volume of data, go for join and merge. And when there is less volume of data and you need to perform join operations, depends on what type of join you're looking for, go for lookup, lookup stage, okay? 
so that's pretty much in in detail ex uh, explanation about why lookup doesn't handle i mean can't handle uh, i mean it can handle but it's not good it's not a good option to handle a huge volume of data and the other important difference is join can have uh, any number of input links except full outer if you remember full outer we can have only two uh, input links left and right and if you try to if you try to put more output links i mean more input links it just accepts but when you're trying to compile it it throws some error that it can't accept uh, more than two input links for full outer full outer join type of operation and a merge stage can have uh, any number of input links and lookup can have only one input link okay i mean input link the mainstream link is one but it can have n number of reference links okay and coming to the output links output links join stage ha can accept only i mean can have only one output link and even merge stage can have output link i'm talking about output links okay output links can be counted to reject links but now uh, let's just make it output link and lookup stage even that's uh, one output link and the main thing is yeah join stage does not accept any reject link and merge stages if you remember it accept if you have like n input links it gonna accept n minus one reject links so n, in, n input links are like master links and n minus one are like reject update links you remember right if, if you don't uh, just check back to the merge video merge uh, video tutorial and lookup stage it can have one reject link so they can ask so you have large volume of data so which which stage do you choose among join merge and lookup so join you say okay let's say join and they say okay i want to collect reject records so then uh, i don't want to use join then say it's merge so then they're going to ask how many reject links can i have and all that stuff so that's uh, that's a basic difference and the links some guys uh, they even ask they they really if if they really want to know like did you really uh, work on those uh, data set, I mean, these stages and all that? They're going to ask something like, okay, you are saying that you're working on join, merge, and lookup stages, but just let me, uh, just let, I mean, just tell me uh, what's a, what are the link names uh, when you use join, merge, and lookup? Like, because they don't have the same link names, right? So, yeah, so you need to, uh, you need to know that too. So join whatever the first, I mean, whatever the link we give, it's left, right, and all other uh, links are intermediate links. No, no, I mean, it's not limited. We can have any number of intermediate links, but the first and the last one would be left and right uh, links. And we can change, <coughs> sorry, and we can change this uh, left and right, uh, which, which thing does what. We can change it in link order though. And coming to the merge stage, the first is the master master link or the master data or the driver data, and all other links are just the update links. And coming to the lookup, the one uh, the basic thing is the primary input data. It's basically called primary input data, and all other reference links which you are trying to have lookup on the primary input, those are all called lookup links. So if let's say you have two lookup links, it's gonna have lookup one and lookup two. So that's it. Lookup link one, lookup link two, and that's it. So yeah, this is not a big deal, but still uh, some of those guys uh, ask. So I'm just uh, making sure you know these two. And join, uh, by now you should know that join performs four different operations, four different types of joins, uh, inner, left outer, right outer, and full outer, right? And merge can perform only two joins, inner and left outer. Remember, unmatched master smooth keep, it's inner, and if it's, uh, I mean, keep is left outer and drop is inner, okay? And lookup also can perform only two joins. If you have seen my video, it says continue means left outer and just drop or reject means uh, inner, right? So that's pretty much about this. And yeah, the, the other thing is, yeah, input data must be partitioned and sorted for join and merge stages. But lookup stage, it doesn't require the input data to be partitioned or so pre-sorted. Because, uh, I mean, even though if it's partitioned or sorted, we obviously need to check every record for uh, lookup, right? So it doesn't really make sense for uh, sorting. Because by default, we're going to choose entire partitioning. And if, if it's already partitioned, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, because obviously, we're going to choose entire again. So, yep, that's pretty much about the differences between join, merge, and lookup stages. I'm pretty sure uh, they're not going to ask anything more than this. 
you can say like this like memory wise it's volume of data handling large volumes of data link wise and then operations wise and then that's it these are three memory wise link wise and operation wise these are the three main differences and the other things like reject link link wise i mean reject links and partitioning and all that it's pretty much it's additional information for them so yeah that's pretty much it about this uh, join merge and lookup stages that's it guys thanks for watching and uh, uh, i'll make a video pretty soon so thank you guys thank you so much for watching